Solve using the substitution method. If there is no solution or an infinite number of solutions, state this. We're looking at the system 4x plus y equals 5, 2x plus y equals 4. To use the substitution method, we need to solve for one of these variables, and we'll, we'll choose to solve for y since its coefficient is 1. Now, so I can refer to these equations. Let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2, and I'm going to solve equation 1 for y. Subtracting 4x from both sides, I end up with y equals 5 minus 4x and let's just call that equation 3. Now I know what y is and I've solved equation 1 for y, so I'm going to take this expression for y and substitute it in equation 2. So where I have a y, I'm going to put 5 minus 4x. So I have 2x plus 5 minus 4x equals 4. 2x plus 5 minus 4x equals 4. That gives me negative 2x plus 5 equals 4. Negative 2x equals negative 1. That's subtracting 5 from both sides. And dividing both sides by negative 2, I have x equals 1 half. I can't stop there because I only have the value for x. In order to find the value for y, I can substitute that in this equation 3 because that's already solved for y. So I have y equals 5 minus 4x. x now I know is 1 half, so I have y equals 5 minus 4 times 1 half. y equals 5 minus 4 times 1 half would be 2, or y equals 3. I have the possible answer of x is 1 half and y is 3. I want to check that in both of my original equations. So let's just mentally check that. 4 times 1 half is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5. That checks. In the second equation, 2 times 1 half is 1, 1 plus 3 is 4. It checks in the second equation. So I can state then that the solution of the system is, and I want to write it as an ordered pair with x first, 1 half, 3.